the our students have the option besides taking Spanish, they have the option of taking Yuki. They also have the option of taking Wailaki. And right now we have Wailaki one, two, and three. And so our students can take that instead of Spanish. We have it approved for their A through G so that when they go to college, it can be their language other than English. We don't call it a foreign language because the <laughs> language was here before and anything else, right? And so um, at our school, one of the things that we do is in our Wailaki one class, we just teach a lot of words, right? We teach a lot of words about just our world, right? Like animals and plants and just, you know, everything that we need, you know, a lot of things that you need to know, all of our body parts and just a lot of this vocabulary in Wailaki one. This is a Wailaki two class, and so we do a lot more about conversation. We do like conversation hallway conversation, like what do you say to your friend when you down the hallway? You know, what kinds of things can you say to them? Um, Diabetes duck, you like, what's up? <laughs> you know, or, and then how do you answer them, those types of things. And then we have, um, we do a lot of, we've had a lot of opportunity to do, you know, in school you're supposed to separate church and state. And so, um, but in learning about the language, you also learn about the culture. And prayer for Native people is a big part of the culture. So we end up we end up with prayers that, and songs that we do. This is a twinkle song that we learned from. The tune is from Maggie Steele, who you'll see this afternoon. She did a kind of like a powwow twinkle song, and we took her her tune with her permission, and we put some Wailaki words to it. And even in trying to come up with a Wailaki song, like English does not translate directly to Wailaki. Wailaki doesn't translate directly to English. Like there's some, some words, there's just like, there's no word for, like, um, excuse me. You just don't say that. It's not something that you would say. You know, and even when we say, um, thank you. You know, there's no word for thank you. The word is good for me, you did. You know, so that's, that's how you put that word together. Or, um, like, if we wanted to say twinkle, twinkle, there wasn't a word for twinkle. You know, so then we have to say sunshine it looks like, you know. And then when we were talking about the moon, you know, the word for moon, and it's cool in learning the Wailaki language because like even at the beginning we said, um, like Shay's program is Wailaki Kines Pokong, you know, guy. Pokong around it, it's G, my heart, the guy travels. So in order to say I'm learning, something, you say, around it, my heart travels. That's how you say I'm learning. And so why is learning a different language gets you into like a whole different mind paradigm. So even like in this one, Kepesha the guy, you know, is nighttime sun. You know, so that's the word for moon. So it's, it's really kind of neat to learn a different language because you're also learning a different way of thinking about the world. Okay, so this is our twinkle song.
help us learn about the Wailaki language. And what we found is that there are no speakers in the Wailaki language, and there are no audio recordings. So we have to use our neighboring tribes like Kufa and Talawas to get the like how the language is supposed to sound. So we use people from there, and we use linguists to help us to go through these things that were written in 1906 and 1910 in order to pull out the words from those documents in order to speak today. And so Rolinda and I went to that training, and we, as soon as after that was done, then we brought the language into the school. So these guys that you see here probably speak more, or they do speak more like my last week than anyone in the world right now. Wow. So it's a, it's a cool thing. They're bringing back a language that was considered dead, but we never considered the language to be dead. We, we considered it to be sleeping, you know, and now we're reawakening.